My name is Emilio Magnucci, um, third generation De Bruno brothers. Uh, our family business uh, started when my grandparents, Danny and Joe, came uh, from Italy um, with nothing more than a third grade education for Danny, who was the oldest of the two. And uh, they came and they landed in the Italian market area here. Uh, you know, back in the, um, I guess it was the mid 20s, mid to late 20s. You know, their goal was to really take care of the family as they had gotten married and, um, as they got married and, and, you know, wanted to raise children. Um, Danny's idea was to have a store of his own, he and his uh, brothers, uh, Joe and Thomas. So this little store came up for sale and, you know, they bought it. It was an old ice house. They bought it and they um, eventually, you know, they bought it and called it the Bruno Brothers. You know, they, they used to sell everything that uh, and a, a new immigrant Italian family would need, you know, bulk pasta, yeah, um, tissue paper, um, you know, they had provolones, which at that time were specialty, right? And they also had bleach, which they made themselves in an old tub upstairs. So they had like homemade bleach. They called it Jarella water in Italian. And by the 60s, they started to make their own cheese spreads. And the cheese spreads are really um, one of the things that they're most famous for. And, you know, I started to do a little bit of research to see who in, in back in the 60s, how many cheese shops there were in the country. And, you know, I still can't find any that predate you know, my grandparents' store. Now, granted, they, they started this in 1939, but it wasn't uh, a strictly a cheese shop then. They started to convert to a cheese shop in the 60s when Danny finally took his first vacation and went back to Italy to visit the family. Uh, you know, and you know, one of his old friends was working up in Switzerland for a cheese company and he went to visit him. And that was when he started to import uh, Swiss cheese in particular. I, you know, I, we just thought it was important to know that stuff, you know, because if you don't know where you came from, how could you, you know, how, how could you know or how could you map up where you want to go? You know what I mean? So it's kind, it's kind of important, you know, for, the, for, for your future, knowing your past. You know, we got together one night, my cousin and I and my brother, and, you know, we said, oh, you know, we were debating, could we do this? Could we take over the business and do this? And although, you know, we were 20, 20 years old, uh, thinking about it, we thought, well, let's give it a shot. We're young enough. What the hell? How bad could it be? Our philosophy is to, you know, keep it family oriented, keep the culture of what we're used to and the way that we grew up in this business and provide that culture and that atmosphere for everybody else that, that works for us, you know, 150 plus people that work for us in, in all of our businesses, you know, it's, it's, it's really pride more than anything. We never want the name to die because Danny and Joe and Thomas worked their butts off to build something that is just so, so much bigger than us and much more um, diverse and incredible than, than any one person could do. This couldn't be done today. Like, we couldn't decide, oh, you know what, uh, let me open up a store, a retail store, and sell cheese like, like this, like the way that we do it today, without having that history, that 70 plus years of history and knowledge and culture and tradition. It, it can't be done. It's almost impossible.